Hey, what's going on? DJ Milena here with a quick Facebook ads tutorial. Uh, it's really a conversion tracking tutorial. So if you are tracking phone calls through something like what converts or call rail or Invoca, and you want to send those phone call leads through, not as an offline conversion, not as a custom conversion, but as a standard event for optimization or attribution, uh, this video is going to cover that. So we're using, um, I'm using specifically what converts Zapier and then obviously sending that to Facebook. Um, so in the past, if you have used Zapier to track something from CallRail or what converts, um, you're probably sending it as an offline conversion. Uh, but as far as I know, with the recent rollout of the new server-side API that Facebook has opened up for additional tracking, um, that's opened up new options in Zapier. So now you can send phone call leads from what converts via Zapier to Facebook as a standard lead event, as a standard contact event. Um, and that's news to me, and I, I set that up today, so I thought it was helpful. Um, so if you are, say you have a landing page like we do here, um, track phone calls um, just with a standard what converts phone call number, and then that you know goes out to my client. It records the phone call through what converts and is UTM tracking. So what converts handles a lot of that tracking for me. Um, but in the past, I wasn't able to send through those conversions or those calls as a standard event. It was always as an offline event. And I know that's true for call real too. So um, to do that, uh, just gonna hop right into Zapier, have my what converts as the first step. So when a new lead is generated, it's gonna trigger in this account. Um, and again, we only wanna track phone calls here for what converts specifically. They do have web form tracking and chat tracking. Um, so we wanna define which lead events we're pushing through to Facebook. So co completed phone calls, first step, yes. Modified, no. Calls in progress, no. Um, if you have these on yes, as soon as the call starts, it's gonna send through a lead event. So we only want completed calls here that are recorded by what converts so we can listen to them at a later point and see if our phone calls are actually generating uh, appointments or patients, whatever it is. Don't wanna track text messages. Don't wanna track web forms, no. Custom events, I don't even think we're tracking that, but. I, just in case I have it on yes, chats, yes, no, no, not, we're not tracking those, not tracking those. For this profile, let's pull through a test event. So here's a phone call that was generated from what converts? Um, from if by Don't know. Anyways, moving on. So that's how you set up the what converts aspect. Um, so now our second step in this app is Facebook conversions. Um, so in the past, as far as I know, uh, Zapier had offline conversions and it had lead ads and it had custom conversions or custom audiences. Um, so those are helpful, but Facebook conversion seems to be a new option um, where you can send through standard lead events based on whatever happens in the first step. So. This obviously applies to things outside of just phone calls, uh, but um, I thought it would be helpful. For that. So app Facebook conversions action event, you can send it through as a standard lead event. For me, this account specifically, um, we're already tracking leads, but we consider those email leads. So somebody opting into the offer and giving us their email. Um, phone calls aren't as solid of a lead because somebody can call and nobody answers, call and hang up. Um, so the phone call isn't always a solid lead. So I'm going to consider that within Zapier. I'm going to send through another event. Um, and those options I can choose from in the step below. If you send through a standard lead event, um, any phone call that's completed, including if nobody answers, is going to fire here. So that's just one parameter that I put on it. Here's my account. The uh, phone call CTA, the button is on a landing page and the pixel um, for what converts is on this landing page. So technically um, you can choose phone call here, but the way this is set up and is technically tracking, it's actually on the website. And so you do that here. This is for this business manager. This is for this pixel. And then here, because I chose other event, here's where I can define when a phone call is generated that's completed sending that through, what event do I want to send that through? So I'm using the standard contact event. So now in my ads manager dashboard or my attribution reporting, uh, that's the event that is going to identify phone calls um, on landing. 
So contact event, nothing here for event time, event ID, no event source URL. So the event, the phone call, what URL does that happen on? Um, all this information that is passed through dynamically is done from what converts, and that's why the logo is here. Um, so lead URL identifies which page the button or the phone number was clicked on. Um, so that's what we have here. Test event code. You're definitely going to want to do this the first time you're testing it. Um, so you'd want to go within events manager, go from overview to test events. When you click on server, um, it should pop up with uh, a code that says test and then some numbers. You're going to put that here, paste it in. And then when you test your zap here at the end, um, you'll be able to see if the event fires properly. Just a little test that you can do. As soon as the zap is turned on, that event, it's no longer a test event, it's a standard event. So you don't have to worry about that. Opt out of ads delivery optimization. This is also super important. So if you hit true here, you're only going to get attribution for this specific event. You're not going to actually be able to use this event in your optimization events if you're running, say, a conversion campaign. So I choose false because at some point I may want to test running a campaign that is optimized for phone calls. Maybe you build out a specific landing page where the only CTA is phone calls. Um, so if you want to do that in the future, optimize for that event, you have to do false here. Otherwise, it's just going to be for attribution. Data processing options, um, assuming this is related to CCPA. Um, so if you need to find out if that's related to you, maybe watch my other video that I just posted on CCPA and um, check out if you need to put in the data processing options here. I don't, my client doesn't, so it's all good. Customer information, this section is where you can take information that is generated from your phone call and what converts and pass that through to your pixel. So Facebook can get you know higher match rates for remarketing or attribution for custom audiences. More information you can pass to the Facebook pixel. Um, from the event source, the better Facebook's going to be able to really optimize and match those with users. So if we do collect the phone number through what converts. We want to pass that through. First name, last name. That's we collect the full name in what converts. So that unfortunately we can't use that. Um, you may be able to set that up. Uh, city here it is. State, country. All these are collected within what converts. So zip code, IP address. Really, really powerful to have. Um, and then nothing for these three options here. Uh, you can put even more depending on the data that you're collecting. So date of birth, gender, etc. cetera. Uh, nothing here. Custom data, this is if you want to send through additional parameters. So value, if you're tracking purchases or sales, revenue. Uh, currency, you know, if you're, again, if you're tracking purchases. Really specific to e-commerce there, but if it's relevant to you, go ahead and use it. And that's really it. So we set up our what converts and you know our tracking phone calls only. Once we get those phone calls, uh, they're going to be passed to Facebook as a standard contact event. So much different than an offline conversion, which you can't use in your optimization events, and much different than just being able to use it for custom audiences. So now we get that in attribution reporting, and we get that as a potential optimization event to use in our conversion campaign. So that wraps up how to set up call tracking and pushing that through as a standard event. If this has been helpful, um, or if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, Again, if this was helpful, leave a like, comment for future content related to Facebook ads, conversion tracking, funnels, etc.